we must go now. Papa! Tiago, go with your mother to the trap. Take this. It will always be your guide. Yes, Papa. We will join you shortly. Xavier, the painting! La malediction. This way. Signora, it is too late. Go. Senor, in here. Search them. Of course. Paris in the spring. Passion, romance, L'Amour. I was working in art insurance. It paid the rent, just about. And then, by chance, I met Nico at a private view. You didn't tell me that you were back in Paris, Shosh. We should catch up. Let's have... Lunch? Nobody move! No, monsieur! Not la malediction. Oh. Stay back. Once again, Paris had shown me her dark side. A brutal robbery, a senseless murder. Nico and I were about to be drawn into a new and terrifying adventure together. The gallery owner was dead. I guess sometimes playing the hero doesn't pay. My company had insured the exhibition, so I had a crime to solve. The cops would be here soon. I didn't have much time. The priest was giving last rites to the gallery owner. I didn't want to interfere. Excuse me, Father. Yes, my son. I'm George Stobart. My company insured the exhibition. My name is Simeon. Is there anything I can do? You can pray for his soul. A senseless murder. On the contrary, this killing makes plenty of sense. What do you mean? A great evil has taken place. This is the work of the devil. What? I am a Dominican priest. I know these things. And now, excuse me, I must pray. One minute I'd been planning dinner with Nico, the next I was talking art theft, murder, and the devil with a priest. The bus was balanced precariously on the pedestal. I didn't want to knock it off. For the discerning connoisseur, a soupçon at 80,000. With luck, the security camera had captured the robbery. The cable for the camera ran into the room marked private. Just 90,000 for this one. The alarm still worked on that painting. I wondered why the stolen painting's alarm hadn't sounded.
The label said it was painted in 1932. The gallery wanted 80 grand for it. Hmm. A rare glimpse into the absinthe addled mind of the artist. A snip at only 80 grand. Another alarm working as it should. Another working alarm. Was the alarm on the stolen painting the only one that wasn't working? The stolen painting was called La Maledexio, painted by someone called El Serp in 1937 and worth just 40 grand. The stolen painting was worth less than the others. So why did the thief target it? This was where the stolen painting had hung. Why that painting? And why kill for it? The stolen painting had an alarm, which should have sounded when the painting was removed. I needed to find out why it hadn't. I pressed the vibration detector pad. Nothing happened. I pressed the vibration detector pad. Nothing happened. So that was why the alarm hadn't sounded. A wire had been cut by someone who knew exactly what they were doing. This was an inside job. It was the speaker cone for the alarm. It hadn't sounded when the painting was stolen. The door was locked with a keypad. If I wanted to get in there and look at the CCTV footage, then I'd need to find the number. There was a small piece of paper in the dead man's hand. It was too intriguing not to take a look. It read, 2.30 p.m., be ready. Innocent enough, until I realized that the robbery took place at 2.30 p.m. There was something fishy going on around here, and it wasn't just the canapes. I quickly replaced the note. Poor guy. In Henri's pocket was a tiny bottle. It was a bottle of Brett. The label claimed it would... Wake the beast within. Poor guy. Poor guy. He definitely looked better. Hair today, gone tomorrow. Poor guy. A cryptic note in a bottle of overpowering cologne. No personal effects or anything else of substance. I definitely needed to check out that office. As they say, every artist was first an amateur. I wondered how many paintings they'd sold at these prices. I could have bought a nice car for the price of that. The poster looked old. I didn't want to touch it. It was Hector Lane, France's greatest art critic. We'd met before. It hadn't ended well. For a moment, I thought he was dead. But from the snoring, I guessed he'd only fainted. Lane was out cold. I was going to need something to bring him around. In the pocket was a pair of nail clippers. They were monogrammed with the letters HL. Lane was out cold. 
I was going to need something to bring him around. The street was quiet and upmarket. Not the kind of place for an opportunist thief. The room looked like some sort of office for the gallery. I could just see the glow of the CCTV monitor in the corner. It looked like the office for the gallery. You gotta hand it to the French. They know how to take a leak in style. From out here, you couldn't see the stolen painting. This robbery was definitely planned. It was a blob of chewed gum. The thief left the pizza box behind. I wondered what was in it. Well, no surprise there. Pizza. The guy must have been hungry. There was only one slice left. I decided against stuffing cold pizza into an unconscious man's mouth. I needed him live. I still needed to figure out the code to that keypad. I'd already tried the alarm on that one. Another working alarm. So the thief took the only painting whose alarm had been sabotaged. But why that painting? Why that particular one? 55,000. Huh, shame. Just outside my price range. All I needed was a mere 65,000, and this little gem could be mine. Father? Yes, my son. A wire in the painting's alarm was deliberately cut. Cut by the devil himself, perhaps. Well, as far as I know, sightings of guys with horns and tails have been a little down recently. You mock me, Mr. Stobart. But as you will discover, the devil likes to have the last laugh. Did Henri say anything before he died? He said, Stop the car. I want to get in. Um, what does that mean? We may never know. What did you mean when you said that a great evil had taken place? Your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. What? Peter 5.8, 
The devil is all around, Mr. Stobart. Do you know the code to get into the office? No, but you could always pray and ask for divine guidance. With respect, Father, I'm looking for a slightly quicker solution. I think there's something strange going on here. Yes, Mr. Stobart. At last you see the truth. No, Father. I mean that the robbery looks like an inside job. The devil's work is always an inside job. What brought you to the exhibition, Father? The painting. Which one? La Maledictio, of course. The painting that was stolen? I had to confront the evil. What do you know about the man who painted La Maledictio? El Serp. He was a man playing with fire. The fire of eternal damnation. Tell me about the stolen painting. Whoever gets close to it will burn in hell. Hey, Father, how about a squirt? I think not. Would you like this piece of pizza? A man has just died. No, thank you. Do you recognize these? Nail clippers? I'm not sure what your point is. The label read, Awaken the Beast Within. Well, no harm in trying. <laughs> what was that? It smells like... like the 70s. Where am I? You fainted. Welcome back to the land of the living. I wouldn't exactly call this living. Don't just stand there. Get me something to eat. I've had a terrible shock, you know. Excuse me, Mr. Lane. Food. My nerves demand food. I found a slice of pizza. I asked for food, boy, not a cardboard simulacrum. Oh, okay, if you don't want it. I didn't say that. Now give it here. Given the circumstances, that was surprisingly acceptable. Uh, now what's been going on? I... Oh, Henri, is he dead? Afraid so. Poor chap. Just like him to steal the limelight, though. Excuse me. Do I know you? Yes, our paths have crossed in the Glees Gallery. Of course, the man with the absinthe. I don't suppose you... Uh, afraid not. Pity. I'm sorry, but I'm having trouble remembering your name. I'm George Stobart. I insured the exhibition. <laughs> I hope you have deep pockets then, my boy. Could I ask you a few questions, Mr. Lane? Fire away. I don't suppose you know the code to that door, do you? Of course. I am, after all, the curator of this exhibition. But I couldn't possibly give you access to the office before the police arrive. I figured I wasn't going to get the door code from Lane by playing nice. I needed to turn the heat up. Are these your nail clippers, Mr. Lane? 
Yes, they have my initials monogrammed on them. Huh. The perfect implement for cutting the alarm on the stolen painting. What are you saying? Well, the alarm was sabotaged, Mr. Lane. It was an inside job. Are you accusing me? How dare you? I had no reason to kill Henri, no motive whatsoever. Okay, but I don't think the cops will see it like that. And I sure would like that door code. How about it, Mr. Lane? Ready to give me the door code yet? Certainly not. Give me a single reason why I should. Guilty by way of nail clippers. I've been away from Paris for several days and only got back this morning. How could I have cut that wire? This is an inside job for sure, Mr. Lane. The police are going to be very interested in your recent movements. I've been out of town for several days, and last night I retired early. Just saying. You're not going to scare me into giving you that door code, you know. I was onto something here, and I knew it. Lane was sweating. It wasn't pretty. How about it, Mr. Lane? Certainly. Guilt? I... So, you and Henri, not the best of pals, huh? He and I had a convivial, professional relationship. Trouble is, I'm not seeing many tears, Mr. Lane. Are you trying to accuse me? The cops will be looking for a motive. Just give me the code to the door, and I can help you. You're going to have to try harder than that. An unusual painting turns up at your exhibition and gets stolen. Doesn't look good, does it? And your point is? The cops are going to ask some awkward questions. But you give me the code to the CCTV room, and I'll do my best to point them elsewhere. I cannot let you into that room, Mr. Stobart. Besides, Henri found La Malédiction, not me. I had nothing to do with it. So you'd been out of town and hit the sack early last night? That's right. I've not been near the gallery for days. How about some more of this? I don't think so. As a cell volatile, it was acceptable. As a cologne, it would be barbaric. Guilty by way. She Nico wasn't answering her phone. No surprise. Hello, Mr. Rickenbacker? Stobart, what do you want? Mr. Rickenbacker, there's been a problem. Now why does that surprise me? This better not involve the blue lizard. I'm afraid it does, sir. There's been a robbery. How terrific. Only one painting was stolen, though. Well, what are you wasting time talking to me for? Find that painting, or find a way to avoid paying out. Two ways to keep your job, Stobart. I see. Uh, thank you, sir. You're welcome. Anything else you gotta tell me? The thief had a gun. He shot the gallery owner dead. We insured him, too? No, sir. Well, that's one piece of good news. At least tell me you got some leads. I'm pretty sure the security was sabotaged. The alarm was disabled for that one painting. So, it was an inside job. Who else is at the gallery? There's a guy called Hector Lane. Lane? Why does that name sound familiar? He's an art critic. I think he's connected to the exhibition. Now, could it be him? 
Well, he's rude and ugly. It's certainly possible. So squeeze him, Stobart. Squeeze him till he squeals. If I was going to squeeze Lane, I needed longer arms than these. Find out who disabled the security system, then find that painting. And don't call back until you have. How about it, Mr. Lane? Re Certainly not. Guilty by... I've been away from... Mr. Lane, this robbery is not going to reflect well on you. As I said, I shall take my chances. You're not getting that door code. Father? Yes. Do you know anything else about El Serp? I've already told you everything I can. Is there anything else you can tell me about La Maledizio? I've said everything I care to on the subject. The bus was balanced precariously on the pedestal. I didn't think there was any need to test another pain. It was clear that only one alarm had been sabotaged. The button bypassed the pressure pad system. Cutting the wire had disabled the pads. The pressure pad appeared to be working fine, but the I needed a better idea. There wasn't anything loose to snip. The clippers weren't going to cut it. That wouldn't have worked. That was never. No one had noticed the pizza box fall onto the floor. I decided to leave it alone. I wondered if there was anything out here I could use to put the heat on lane.
for a moment I contemplated getting on the next train out of here. But a man was dead, and I had a job to do. I've always been a sucker for Parisian stained glass. The menu offered black coffee and a short list of soft drinks. Excuse me. Monsieur. There's just been a robbery at the gallery. Oh, really? You don't sound surprised. All property is theft, monsieur. And all art is property. Therefore, all art is theft. Do you not agree? Uh, well, uh, when you put it like that, it's <clears throat> hard not to. Did you see anybody run out of the gallery earlier? There was a beautiful woman with a camera. She was chasing somebody. Oh, that must have been Nico. You know her? You surprised me. Can you tell me anything about the man she was chasing? I assume, monsieur, that like all of us, he is inherently unknowable. No wonder this guy's cafe was empty. The gallery owner, Henri, was shot dead trying to stop the robbery. Life has no meaning the moment you lose the illusion of being eternal. Right. Did you know him well? Can we ever truly know another human being, monsieur? He spent little time at the cafe, unlike his friend, Monsieur Lane. What do you know about Hector Lane? Lane? Oh, yes. He drinks here sometimes. He slid away last night without paying. Last night? What sort of time? After midnight, for sure. If you see him, give him this bill and tell him to pay up next time. The check was from last night. But Lane told me he was nowhere near the gallery. This could be the leverage I needed to get the office door code from Lane. What do you know about Le Lizard Bleu? It's bourgeois, vacuous, and overpriced. Just like its curator Lane. He's always in here, you know, talking art to his latest flusier. Do you recognize these? They are nail clippers. Would you like a squirt of this? Are you suggesting a smell, monsieur? No, sorry. So you and Lane aren't best of pals, huh? The man is a second-rate critic, peddling meaningless aphorisms. Thank you for your consistent indifference, monsieur. Perhaps next time you come, I will give you a coffee. Perhaps not. Take a look at this. What of it? It's your bill from the cafe next door. So? It's dated yesterday. Last night, in fact. 12.30, to be exact. You said you were out of town. You sure drank a lot of champagne last night without paying the bill. But you told me that you were away from Paris last night. I hate to say it, but that sounds like a lie to me. Tell you what, you give me the code of the door, and the police need never know. A motive and proof of involvement. Not looking good, Mr. Lane. You are a blackmailer, Stobart. Just doing my job. 
All right. You have me. The number is 6397. But I admit to none of these spurious accusations. I had the code. The police would be here any moment, so I had to work fast. What was that number again? 642... No. Everyone, hold it right there. Damn it. I am Inspector Navet of the Paris Serious Crime Squad, and I hereby declare this crime scene open. I mean, closed. Now, nobody move, especially you on the floor. Mo, I want a total lockdown. Nobody in or out. Apart from me, of course. I needed to get back into the gallery, but a familiar figure was guarding the door. It was Sergeant Mu. Our paths had crossed before. <laughs> 